Hey everyone, after the last few weeks making disparaging fun of Kate Middleton, the media this week had to make a U-turn so large it could be seen from space and change their tune faster than an iPod shuffle after the Princess of Wales revealed that she had cancer. Not something you'd wish on anyone really, and of course all thoughts are with the children, which is why Prince Andrew isn't invited this Easter. If the worst should happen and the Princess of Wales passes away, then I believe the constitutional process is to invite Elton John to re-release a hit single. And in this case, I'd certainly recommend his 1976 hit, quote, Sorry seems to be the hardest word. Although I suspect it will have stiff competition in the charts with Meghan Markle singing, I'm still sounding. And in a press release, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex wish it to be known that they fully support um, their name to be mentioned as many times as possible in the press during the harrowing coming weeks and months ahead. I will say, though, it's remarkable how easy it is to get instant NHS care if you know the right people, apparently. Good luck getting an oncologist that quickly if you're you or I, just like how the NHS is supposedly short of cash right now, yet had money spared to pay for a hospital in Gaza. There were developments in that Middle Eastern story this week when ISIS bombed a music venue and, oh wait, no, it hit a target in Moscow. That's quite odd, really. They seem unable to attack Israel, which is right there next to them, yet managed to somehow travel thousands of miles for an active war zone to attack a country that's largely supported the Muslim side in the last half centuries of conflicts. Almost as if it was actually somebody else with a grievance against Russia who wanted to disavow responsibility and just blame the ISIS boogeyman. Oh well, elsewhere around the world, Wales decided to join Scotland by appointing an ethnic minority as its first minister. Although to be fair, Wales must be given credit for being miles ahead and being the first home nation to put someone mentally incompetent in charge of the place, back when they appointed Mark Drakeford. Someone down the pub decided to ask me what the leaders of England, Scotland and Wales all have in common, so I decided to quash his racist answer by simply saying that, quote, none of them were elected by the public. So that's true as well, isn't it? Meanwhile in Canada, Justin Trudeau has introduced legislation to delay the election that will kick him out, so I guess we could have it worse. I once went to a buffet in the northwest of Canada. It was all Yukon heat. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe. Bye.